We are here today to present the ICUS DeltaBot robot model 360. My name is Chris Fournier and um, let's get going. Let's talk about the structure on this Delta robot. It consists of three linear actuators. They're linear belt driven sides provided by ICUS. Those belt driven slides are coupled to either a stepping motor or a NEMA 23 frame brushless DC motor with an encoder and hall devices inside the motor. It's an equal lateral triangle and the actuators are attached to the endpoints of the vertices of that triangle from the top and they actually meet in what's called an effector plate. And as you can see, each of the carriages on each one of the stages is connected by pivoting rods. The, on this model 360, the effector plate has a radius of about 42 millimeters. Let's talk about the applications. Where would this particular robot subassembly be used? Packaging machinery, where you're moving things between lines, incoming, uh, outgoing. Uh, pharmaceutical or medical testing for samples, moving vials around. 3D printing, where you put a nozzle or an extruder nozzle on the end of the effector plate are just some of the more common uses and it's to that effector plate that some sort of device, a gripper, an extrusion knob, a rotating stage, maybe a laser, maybe an engraving tool would be attached. So with that said, um, I'd like to talk about uh, some of the advantages the Delta robot brings and how AMC's control system and servo drives help that out. IGUS and Advanced Motion Controls met to discuss the needs for this Delta bot package in terms of controls. This particular model and the control system is using a G-code file for the path planning and the trajectory to get the end effector to move where we want it. And the G-code file is actually running on a laptop and there is an HMI screen. That overall system, not only the motion, but the entire sub-assembly is run by AMC's Click and Move Open Architecture Control System. Click and Move is a control architecture that consists of two things. A development environment that's programmed graphically based on PLC Open's function block schematic diagramming and a hardware platform. So this program that you see running is actually a sample program that exists within that development environment. It's one of 60 and it's based on graphical programming and it is compiled to run in this case on a PC. The PC can be a traditional Windows PC, it can be a Linux PC with and without a real-time operating system or a low-cost single board computer and even our Mac family of controllers. Click and Move is a modular programming environment. It's scalable and it's flexible. We're looking at the main control screen for this DeltaBot uh, program. The cursor uh, is showing the three different positions or coordinate systems that this program uses. The ACS are the axes themselves, the slides, the MCS is the actual machine volume coordinate system. And then finally, PCS is the part coordinate system, which is based on the center of the effector plate and where it is in 3D space. Right next to it, uh, you'll see the actual program that is being uh, cycled through. It's a G-code file. As I stated earlier, besides a G-code file, we can also take targeting points from uh, a streaming comma separated values file. We can take uh, points coming into us from LabVIEW, from MATLAB, and a host of other third-party software platforms. Now on the right-hand side of the screen is it's actually tracing out the LCA logo on a plaque, low-cost automation from IGUS and that path could have a little router tip on it. We could be printing it. 
Uh, we could be laying down material in a 3D printer. We could be cutting it. There's a whole host of uh, capabilities. It really depends on what is mounted to the end effector plate. The end effector plate in um, this case is represented by a triangle and each side is approximately 42 millimeters, the center of which is where the tool tip would be uh, when whatever we're doing with this program. Together with advanced motion controls, servo drives, and our package, ICUS now has the capability to offer to companies and systems integrators that normally would not be able to afford a very high-end DeltaBot package in a modular package that is flexible and scalable at a very good cost. And that's the whole point of IGUS's low-cost automation group.